Greetings to all of humanity's reader, joy, sub pleasures, ours, my honor to be out here, well connected in nature and bringing to you this message of emancipation, whereby I'm pointing you to look inwardly to discover that your real identity is your divinity. And that is why I want to speak to you today concerning from poverty to self-realization. And this is actually the entire story between Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia, who was Neville Goddard's mentor. He and Neville, their whole story is based around moving from poverty to self-realization. And this whole drama has been played out in Neville being a young man, being born in the Caribbean. And all around him, you can see people with a colonial mentality, people with a poverty mentality. And he even went to school in the Caribbean and had a kind of education that is pointing you to have a limited mentality and also to have a religious mentality. As a matter of fact, Neville was beaten unmercifully by a teacher just because he quote the scripture that says, take up thy couch and walk. And Neville said, take up thy bed and walk. And because he was beaten so badly, his father literally wanted us to kill that man. And it was there Neville end his education and decide to take a trip for betterment of himself. And so he went to America. But to cut a long story short, in Neville's quest to widen himself, because that's the way we must always feel, that we must always expand. So Neville needed expansion in his life. Because as you know, anything that is stagnated, it, 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 it stinks, it smells, it push forth a, a scent because it doesn't go, it doesn't come, it's stagnated. And he didn't want to live a stagnated life. So right there showing you in the Caribbean and in the, the countries that they refer to as third world countries, many people are stagnated and many people are just going around in circles. Because of how they've been taught or how they've been raised. And so Neville, in his quest for expansion, he came in touch with Abdullah, the black mystic from Ethiopia. And it was a time of a great depression. And everyone was vibrating under the energy of luck, under the energy of poverty except for very few who understands how imagination creates reality and that poverty is a lack of imagination or it's just a poverty of imagination because they realize poverty and prosperity have to do with your mentality. And so as never begin to study with Abdullah, Abdullah was teaching him the theory but Abdullah was teaching him the truth about scriptures. And that is why he never said that Abdullah taught him through Christianity. And the main religious belief of the Caribbean islands and all the third world country is that of secular Christianity that is pointing you to look outwardly. So believing in a savior outside of yourself and believing that the Bible is literal and secular History, it will keep you in limitation. It will keep you in uh, mental slavery. It will keep you in mediocrity. Because you are dwelling under the energy of fear. Because you are told that there is an angry God who is willing to send you to a hell to burn forever and wants to punish you. And all of this was taught to a people by their slave masters who oppressed them. 
and force upon them a belief system. And then went further to set up a, a, a form of higher learning, which they refer to as education or academic education, and gave them a belief that they were uncivilized and that they were illiterate. But let me say this. If I leave right now and I go to China, I would be illiterate because I cannot speak Chinese and I cannot speak, well, I don't know if the language is Mandarin or whatever, okay? And I can't write their language. If I leave right now and I go to Venezuela or I go to Cuba, I'll be illiterate based on which uh, community I am, I am, I am living. And if, the, if that community is just speaking, you know, Spanish, Okay, because there might be some community that might be speaking English also. But if they're speaking Spanish, okay, then I'll be illiterate. So it means there's a people who was even robbed of their language and was given another language. Okay, and they, they grow to believe a certain way. And all of this was being displayed through the relationship between Abdullah and Neville Gadot when you understand the language of symbology. And so Abdullah wanted was to teach a people how to move from a poverty mentality to come to self-realization. Because when you do not know who you are, you will never know your power. So, Abdullah, who wanted us to display the power that you can use to achieve your every desire, he uses imagination on behalf of Neville going to Barbados to be with his family and going there first class. So then, because we are all connected, and Abdullah understood that the Bible is all about mind science, Abdullah, when Neville came to him and said to him, Ab, I'm having this burning desire where I want to go to Barbados. Abdullah said to him, you already gone to Barbados and you have gone there first class. He couldn't understand Abdullah. But Abdullah showed him that if he would sleep in his mother's home each night as he go to bed while he's residing in New York, and if when he walked the streets of New York, he would see himself in his imagination walking the streets of Barbados that it would become a reality. It would become a fact. And he even further showed him in Joshua 1 and 2 where he said, anywhere that the soul of your feet shall chant. Which means anywhere you can go in your spirit, anywhere you can go in your imagination, you can go there physically, you can go there in, your, in, in person because everything is within. There's a wall that is within and the real self is within. And that is why until you look within and come to self-realization, you will never discover your abundance. You will never discover the pearl of great price. You will never know that you are the creator and the Lord and master of your own destiny and that you can create your reality, your reality consciously. Because when you're taught to look outwardly, you do not realize that it is your own thoughts that is creating your personality. So you think there's an enemy outside of yourself. But if there is no enemy within, the enemy without can do you no harm. So my brother and my sisters, this whole message about Abdullah and Neville Gallen is not just about using the law, but it's all about self-realization. It's all about moving from having a poverty mentality to having an abundant mentality by looking inwardly to discover that your real real identity is your divinity so my brother and my sisters what they've been doing with all of the system that they set up is to keep you from discovering that your, your true identity so they give you false identity some people identify themselves based on the religion some people identify themselves based on their education some people identify themselves based on and 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 some title some people identify themselves based on how much money they have okay but i'm saying to you your real identity is your divinity so self-realization is more important than anything else and that is why you're told that you must seek it first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and then all these things will be added unto you and our ancestors have been saying from ever since from the beginning of civilization they've been saying man know thyself and when we check the cradle of our civilization, you got to go all the way back to Africa. You got to go all the way back to Ethiopia. Okay? And Africa as, uh, as a whole. Okay? And my brother and my sisters, there's nothing new under the sun. So what Abdullah was really teaching Neville wasn't something actually new. But it was something that he wanted us to come back to.
Okay, and he was using all of this symbology to show us how to live our life in abundance and prosperity by understanding our true currency, which is our mentality. Your true currency is inwardly. That's why I always speak about money a certain way to let you know that your spirit is the gold mine and that is what you are bartering. So if you have the right spirit and you're in your right mind, you'll be able to do things in a right way because you're working by laws that governs all of humanity and governs the universe. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So the greatest law that you will ever discover is the divine law of reproduction whereby every seed and every species reproduce after its kind. So whatever you are reproducing, whatever you are bring fo bringing forth, it has to do with your mentality. And that is why the very first thing you must seek in this world is to know who you are. That is why you must love yourself, believe in yourself, and embrace yourself. But those who want to keep you in a perpetual state of mental slavery, they give you an idol. To the story of Jesus and Mary, whereby they make you believe it is secular history. And the slave master give you a portrait that looks just like him. So every time you call on the name of Jesus, you're giving homage to the slave master who want to always keep you a slave and, and keep you from playing the game of life with wisdom. Because you would know that this is the head and this is the tail the here which is the body down here is the slave and the master is here the intelligence is here that's why most of the time you look around you see people who look like me they are most most of the time they are the employee and not the employer and the employer always have the power to say you go here you go there you do this you do that and many people cannot catch it that is why when you become aware and awaken and realize that you don't need any kind of competition there's more than enough in the world you will be able to even tell your employee i want each and every one of you to be like me and when you widen your scope and expand yourself and you're ready to leave all you have to do is inform me so my brother my sister i can go on and on and on but this whole thing about never gathered on abdullah is to really really teach people how to move from poverty, which is a lack of uh, poverty of imagination, to come to what? Self-realization. Okay? When you discover the power of your imagination, when you discover that God in man is man's imagination and the eternal body of man is the imagination, then you can come another step further and come into self-realization. But the key is self-realization. So with that being said, my brother and my sister, I want to thank you very much. I hope what I say it makes sense to you. And if it do, and you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, or to share this video. Also, I would like to encourage you to follow me on Instagram at Black Mad Guru, and also to check out the Inner Sun Science and Technology for Prosperity, or the Inner Sun Engineering, to create your reality consciously, and my Patreon, because we are living in a time they want to dim the sun, they want to black out the sun, but I have news for you. The Bible says that the Lord thy God is a sun, S-U-N, and a shield, and no good thing would he withhold from you. And common sense will teach you that the sun has never withhold any good thing from you, for the sun is what powers all of humanity and gives all of its energy to all of humanity. Also, in Malachi 4 and 2, you're told also that the sun of righteousness, the sun, the S-U-N of righteousness, shall arise in you with healing his wings. And truly, when that, once that light is risen in you, you will bring healing to all of humanity and you point each and every one to look inwardly because every true prophet or every true messenger can never point you to look outwardly. They must point you to look inwardly. So, my brother, my sisters, if there's any other way that you would like to support this work, we have a PayPal link down below. Feel free to check out that PayPal link down in the description and always read the description and check out all of the information that is down there. So with that being said, my brother and my sisters, I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.